Tap, tap, tap in collective. This is God's Major Oracle, a Major Oracle. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. Leave me in the comments what you're going to be today for Halloween. Leave me a pumpkin. Today we have the High Priestess. I feel like that represents you, collective. A star seed, an anointed one, a chosen one. Um, someone standing in their own power. We also have the moon. What a beautiful card this is, isn't it? Now, and it's Old Hallow's Eve. We have pumpkins in this um, card right here. This could represent now, right now, divine timing. And what's crazy is the next card up is the magician. The magician represents divine timing. It also represents manifestation. And we're under the blood moon. Tonight, is a great night to manifest. Manifest money into your life. Manifest good health. Manifest good wealth. Manifest uh, your soul tribe. Manifest your divine love. Start manifesting. The more positive you speak into your life, the more positive will come into your life. The divine is waiting on you to take action as of uh, manifesting. Ask the divine for what you want and what you need. The divine will provide. You have to have faith. We also have the page of potions, which represents the page of cups. And we have the three of needles, which represents the three of swords. We also have the wheel of fortune. And that's on the upright. Tonight, for one night of the year, all the elements align under the blood look of the blood moon. Now we have the high priestess and the page of cups. I get like this is you, the high priestess, and or that means your person was the hierophant. You was dealing with a person in the past. They could like to go out a lot. They were blinded to this situation, to the love they had for you. They were blinded. This person could be drinking at the moment. This person could be talking to people about this situation. But what's crazy is that this person could talk to people about this situation, but can't talk to you for some reason. And that has nothing to do to no fault of your own. That's this person. This person is very immature, very narcissistic, very vain into themselves. They care about about what happened to themselves, not how you felt. But now they realize they were wrong in this situation because with the moon card here, whatever was done in the dark is going to come to the light. Whatever this person has done in the past that you don't know about or you're unsure of will come to the light one way or another. Why? Because it's divine timing, okay? And we also have the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords represents major betrayal, loss, heartache. This person could have left you in a Three of Swords. This person could have had you in a third party situation. This person could have been having dealings with another person, whether they, they might have shared children with. Or you can have children, or you two can have children together. Take it as it resonates. All my videos are timeless, and they tell a story. So check it out. And all my videos are past, present, and future. What don't resonate today could resonate tomorrow. So always remember the message. And this is an 18-plus channel. We also have the Wheel of Fortune here. This person would have had you at your Ten of Cups. But rather than giving to the situation, the person was taken from the situation. Regardless of the situation, you with the Divine and the 5D, you are at the Nine of Cups, at the Nine of Coins, at the Nine of Pentacles. You're still upright, okay? You're still working on yourself. And if you're not, you need to do so. The whole purpose is to find your path, your meaning of life, the reason why you was put here and to walk on that path. It's about telling the world who you are and who God is to you, okay? Now, regardless if you're with this person or not, 
I feel like you're going to have a magician come into your life. Somebody that's going to work miracles. And for some of you, you have young children or a young child in school age. Don't worry. I know you stress about the kids, but they're going to be just fine. I get that with that li this little kid right here in the card with the magician. The divine is protecting your children. Now, I also have the wheel of fortune. That's all kinds of abundance that's coming into you. And not only abundance as of money, take it also as of gifts. Okay, so whatever level you are in, walking in your spiritual journey, the, the divine wants you to continue that. It's all about growth. Now, the meaning of the high priestess and the page of potions when the high priestess and the page of cups appears together in a tarot reading it is a power a powerful combination that represents the merging of intuition and emotion at this time collective the divine is asking for you to harness your emotions stay stable don't go out of pocket don't go off the richter because for some situations people want you to be in conflict and act how you used to act. Some For some of you, you used to go crazy in a situation. You need to stay calm. Why? Because you're going to get a lot of motion by staying calm and a lot of clarity. It's time to elevate yourself. This combination suggests that you are being guided by your own intuition and your spiritual wisdom. To tap into the emotional side, you are in tune with your feelings and are open to express yourself creatively. This card combination also suggests that you are on the path of a spiritual self-discovery. You are open to receive messages from the universe, the divine, and your spirit team. You may be receiving signs and synchronicities. That's leading you towards a deeper understanding. Your purpose, your calling, the high priestess, and the page of cups encourages you to Use your instincts and use your intuition and to listen to the inner voice within you, regardless of what situation you're dealing with in your life. You have to have some type of balance within yourself, collective. It is important to trust this combination. The High Priestess and the Page of Cups combination is a reminder to trust the guidance of the universe and to have faith that things will work out in your favor. This combination also suggests that you may be feeling vulnerable and unsure of yourself, but you must trust that your intuition and emotions will guide you in the right direction. It is important to be open, to be, oh, be open to love, be open to the universe, be open to spirit and your spirit team, be open into meeting your soul tribe, be open to others. Don't close yourself off because of what this person did to you in the past. Mind it and represent yourself and be mindful of yourself and how you feel. And not to let fear and doubt hold you back. The Page of Cups reminds us to approach life with a childlike curiosity and to the, embrace the emotions without judgment and resistance. It's Old Hallow's Eve tonight. Go trick-or-treating. Go have fun. Go see the kids in the costume. You know, say hi to a stranger, okay? Meet new people. This is how you're going to meet your soul tribe and those people that are meant to truly be in your life. That you have to put yourself out there. Don't stay closed in. Don't stay boxed in. Regardless of what this weirdo did to you. Why? Because the divine has a gift for you. Because you deserve it. Because you're here today and you're listening to readings and you're trying to stay on your path. You're trying to get on your path. Whatever it is, you're still focused on your path. And because you've been putting in the work, God is like, yo, I'm going to hook my baby up. I'm going to bring the vibes to my baby's life. Why? Because you deserve it. Now, I want you to have a happy Halloween. Have a safe Halloween. Get
give me a like if you like, subscribe if you new, share this video, you never know who you might help, hit the notification bell to all so you know when I upload. Thank you for watching Collective. Again, this is God's Major Oracle. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. Now it's time to tap, tap, tap out Collective, and as always, peace be on to you.